It's shaped like a microchip, but if you look closely, blood is flowing into those tiny vessels. This is a patch of heart tissue made entirely in a lab. Scientists implanted it into a rat to see if its blood would squeeze through or clot. It's very exciting. You know, after surgery, you can uh, clearly see the blood go through our uh, scaffold. This is heart tissue on a chip, and yes, it's beating. Despite being outside the body, the chip works like a real organ. It was amazing because you rarely see cells actually move. Researchers at the University of Toronto are on the cutting edge of what's called person or organ on a chip technology. The chips are tiny scaffolding structures built to house millions of working human cells. So far, they've made heart and liver tissue and now blood vessels the size of a strand of hair. I'm really excited about the work that's come out. Scientists say uh, these chips could be used to test new drugs for dangerous side effects, reduce the need for animal trials, and produce far more accurate information. It allows us to ask biological questions that we couldn't ask using an animal model, and it allows us to watch that biological process happen in a very realistic setting. Scientists around the world see the potential here of linking multiple organs on chips and watching drug interactions happen in real time. You can put a, uh, an oral drug into the gut on a chip, watch it be absorbed, move to the liver, see it broken down, move to the kidney, see it peed out, and then see if you have heart toxicity or whether it you know, affects how your liver functions. Drug testing is expensive and researchers hope this technology could soon dramatically cut those costs. The ultimate goal is to one day use organs on chips to repair or even replace organs inside our bodies. Although scientists admit that day is years, if not decades away. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.